good to see you again. Glad you stopped in. We had a lot of rain and wind and <clears> the <throat> temperatures have dropped a little bit. And now it's kind of dreary out here, but uh, I, I wanted to make the time to get out here and look around and see what we can find. Uh, hopefully I got a better picture for you now. I don't know yet, we'll see. I, I sat in a barber shop on free Wi-Fi for three hours yesterday and updated my phone, so hopefully that'll be better. But stick around, let's do this. I think we're getting up to about the right size now. Peekaboo. You just love the way they hide from you. What the heck's going on over there? Sneaky. Getting awful sneaky. <laughs> it's starting to rain good again now. I'm gonna look around here for a little bit longer. I think we got enough for a snack. Where are they at? Little boogers. I see ya. We know they're coming on now, guys, so let's take what we got back for a taste test. That's right, keep on raining. Okay, guys, I got several different recipes I do my morels, but <clears throat> I always like them same day fresh if possible. Today I think I'm going to batter them and uh, skillet fry them, but I always start off like this. I take them and uh, I got this bowl of warm salty water. My dad made me this bowl out of that cedar tree I harvested a while back. He actually made me a few of them, but uh, this is, I'm going to take these and uh, half them. Slice them in half, right down the middle. You can see morels are always hollow. Soak them in that salt water for just a couple few hours, about no more than three or four hours is all you ever want to do. Or that's all I do anyways. It gets rid of any kind of microorganisms or bugs or anything, little slugs or anything that might be in them. I'm gonna prep these all up like that. Just let them soak a few hours.
and then I'll get back with you and show you show you the batter I'm gonna use today there's a pretty decent little mess of them here I'll share them with my daughter we'll see how it all turns out it should be good stick around I'll be back in a couple hours here once these have soaked yeah gonna cut myself Guys, I got the rocket stove out today, but uh, there's the Drake's batter mix I'm using today, and uh, you kind of mix it up pretty runny, and that makes a nice crispy coating on your vegetables or mushrooms. I only had that little bit of mush uh, vegetable oil for today, so hopefully that'll get what we got. If not, I got some. Uh, bacon grease back up there back up plan but I think I'm almost warm enough we'll start throwing them in Hey guys, I'll let that cook a minute. You can get some good heat out of them rocket stoves, but man, they're so noisy. I sure like the hobo stoves most of the time better, but they're pretty convenient sometimes. You just use a rocket stove too, and you can control the temperature real well. Just want them get it good, good and brown and crispy. I got another pan full to throw in here. And as soon as we pull these out. Like a little slap your mama seasoning on mine. Okay, guys. Mmm. Nice and crispy. Guys, I, I hope I encourage you to get out, rain or shine, get out there and enjoy it. See what you can find. Mm. Uh, thank you all for subscribing. I appreciate all of you. <clears throat> Don't forget to thank Mother Nature. See you on the next one, guys.